Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video about this beautiful, gosh, necklace is all over the place. This beautiful Huda Beauty Gold Obsessions palette. And just look at this. Look at this palette. So beautiful. I already stuck my finger in like these two because I was so curious. But it looks so beautiful. All the swatches online look gorgeous. <clears throat> and I knew I had to pick it up. This I think is exclusive to a European 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 I want to say Beauty Bay or Beautylish, one of those um, in the UK. It's just exclusive to them. So you have to pay extra just because it's European or Euros or whatever. So the currency is a little more expensive. I mean, you end up paying a little bit more for this palette. So, but it is so, so beautiful. I ended up paying $36 for this palette, which seemed really, really overpriced. But I love Huda's. Um, palettes. I love her formula and this palette. I just love golds. I love this neutral pinky golds and stuff. I, it was screaming my name so I had to pick it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in and we're gonna go ahead and play with it because I'm so excited about this palette. I'm gonna go into this really really light fair shade. I'm gonna grab this um, Morphe JH30. I'm gonna put that all over my lid all over my eye to kind of brighten it up. I'm not sure it's doing anything, but I think it is adding just a little bit of tint to my eyes, so a little bit of a brightening effect. And now we're going to go with that same brush, go into this deeper mauve pink shade over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease like that. You can barely see that shade as well. I can definitely see it more, more than the other shade though. It's definitely there. You can definitely see that it's there. Just a light wash of color. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I wish there was more of a, like a medium neutral like transition shade. That's not a little bit deeper than this one, but not as deep as that brown one. But that's fine. We'll make do with what's in this palette. So it's very messily. You don't these shadows blend themselves. They're so easy to work with. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this little mini Sigma brush. This is a lot smaller. I'm gonna go into this brown shade. And I'm gonna go in right here, my outer V, and just blend that out. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Ooh, see how much like depth that added? It added like a little more shadow to my eye. So there is already a shadow there, but just due to the eye shape, this definitely like deepens it and gives it more of like a bam in your face. Like really it deepens that shadow on my neck. I've been really, really tired today. My whole body aches a little bit. Just achy. Haven't been able to sleep well, you know, that kind of usual New Year's situation. New Year, new vibes, whatever, but always tired. <laughs> it's the same as 2020, so some things don't change. Maybe being tired all the time is one of them. Look at that, it's so, that brown really goes really well with that like purpley mauve shade that we were using. It's all blending in very, really nice and going together. I think I went too high with my brown right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. 
I'm gonna go in more. Ow, poke my eye. I think that's. That's kind of what I'm doing there. Okay. That's fine. Close enough. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over with glitter anyways because it's so beautiful. I don't know which one to pick, guys. Let's go ahead and swatch. Let's have a swatch party. Let's just, yeah, go ahead. So, first one, I'm gonna swatch right here. <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. Okay. Second one right here. This one's a little more glittery, a little chunkier. A little more of a topper, more more than an actual shimmer. So you see that? It has less color but more sparkle. That's a middle gold shade. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I went in really light with that one because I didn't it's definitely more chunky, but it looks like the first one. But in the um in the pan it looks a lot more chunky so I thought it was gonna be a little bit different than that but <clears throat> I love surprises I'm gonna go in with that one that one looks really pretty as well oh, they all look gorgeous one. okay that one looks like more like a topper too this one sorry it's a little more white like cool toned pink so that one's that one and I'll show you guys really quick. I'll run down with you guys which ones are which. And that one is another shade. You guys can see that. that one's more again like a topper. Cool with that. Cool with that. This last one's like a green gold. Ooh, that's a very green gold. Holy cow. To do that one versus that one. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and go over the shade. So I went from like top to, oh my gosh. So this is that first one, and this one's this one. And the middle one is this one right here. This bottom one is this one. And then this one is this one. And then this one is that one. So that's just all up in there. They're all gorgeous um so the one i'm kind of feeling more vibes to oh, i feel like i want this one and this one so i'm gonna do this one first let's see how that one goes oh that's so pretty oh what is this it's definitely more dry than most of her formulas from what i remember this one feels a little more dry but I'm not getting a lot of fallout or anything, even though it is more dry. So I thought that um, I would see more pieces falling down and I'm not seeing a lot of fallout. So I do see a little bit of fallout, but not a lot of it. Expected, like I said, I expected to see more with this dry formula. Now I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm gonna go into this really light shade now. See if I can pick it up. Yep, came up on the brush. And I'm gonna put that one right there. It's really not sticking too well. More of a topper. Is there more of a creamy formula? Okay, um, this one seems a little creamier, so I'm gonna go into this one. Let's see if it sticks better. Okay, yeah, that, that looks a lot better. I tried to use a topper that didn't have any base to it as a shadow or as an inner corner thing, so that didn't work out very well. But I still, still think it's a really good palette. Um, I think I just wasn't using it the right way, obviously. Sometimes certain shades only work for certain things and that one seems to be as just a topper. Wow, this look looks really pretty and really simple to do. Like, I just love this look already. I mean, just like that, it's just simple, easy look, guys. It's just 
there's nothing to that. It was super, super easy. So anybody can replicate this look. And you guys already know, I love this palette. Okay, <clears throat> just a little summary though. Um, the mattes, great. They performed so, so well, had no issues. The shimmers just seem a little bit drier than her normal formula. They still seem to be beautiful and pigmented and glittery and like bam like there they're just a little harder to get to stick to your skin um obviously i was able to work with it and work around it and i was able to get it going maybe you need a glitter topper with this one or i mean a glitter topper a glitter primer or glitter mixer or a wet base you know um, eyeshadow primer anything like that i think will work um, it just needs something to grab onto because it's just a little bit drier than her than her other formulas from what I can tell um, from my personal use with her other palettes. Um, this just isn't sticking as much. Um, that aside, I still, still love the color story of this palette and I was able to make the look and it took me a couple more seconds just to build it up choose a different color whatever um yeah I could have actually probably wet my wet my I didn't think about that wet my brush let's do that so you might just need to wet your brush just use a setting spray and then go in with that one shade I wanted to use first and see how it goes so I mean definitely added some more there I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not doing a whole lot, but it is sticking better. Like it is there. So, wetting your brush. That's all you need to do. I had a brain fart. I didn't know what to do. It was a little dry. Wet your brush. <laughs> if you don't want to use, like, I don't like to use eyeshadow primer. So if you're like me, just wet your brush. Um, just to get those to show up a little bit more. But um, I don't like personally eyeshadow primer or using concealer. Or like I kind of just use my under eye concealer and blend it all um, all over my eye and kind of do that situation. Um, I'm not a big eyeshadow primer, glitter primer, that kind of person. Um, and it's been a while since I've used glitter, so my brain farted and I couldn't figure out. But wet your brush, wet your um, eyeshadow brush, and you'll get that color payoff that you're looking for. So still highly recommend. Um, kind of what I would hope that they're having a discount or something going on. <clears throat> but um i haven't seen anything um unfortunately if you can get your hands on this this is a really nice palette um if you already have i'm sure everyone already has color stories like these but um i just love 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 Huda's formula her color stories her her mattes just, just so easy to work with so so worth it um my other favorite palette by her is the khaki haze is also a new one a newer one just hands down one of my favorites just so, so good. Highly, highly recommend. So that's it for today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes and be done for the day. Hopefully, maybe. No, <laughs> I just want to be done. <laughs> so tired. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.